when you're playing a fighting game character, the thing that you are leveling up over the course of your experience isn't the character, it's you. Like, Chaos the most, it, it's the most comforting game to me. Where I just have like the amount of variety that I want. And other games are fun too. Yeah. But I always like playing different games. Even if like you just say like I'm the SNK guy, like I play everything. I'll play, I'll play whatever. Like I haven't been that interested in other games right now. Like I've been always one of those people who say uh, play multiple games. Like, mm -hmm get like a different perspective even if you just play one game one main game like say you play like street fighter and if you mess around with something like sam show or tekken or even like marvel like you'll think of games differently because you can't play every game the same yes i've seen like the tekken players like uh like if they only play tekken and come to like a 2d game they have no idea like what's going on a lot of the time or they either, they either have no idea what's going on or they pick it up immediately because they understand like ideas of like spacing fundamentals movement like a lot of that stuff is like you can pick up from playing Tekken. so you like play street fighter and you you just like the uh like the slow methodical like hate when people say methodical but that's <laughs> you know what it means yes like, it means, like, yes boring but i think it's just like like doing things with intent i guess yeah, is like like people will play street fighter and then go to other games and be like wow this game's a lot more free like that's kind of dumb even if people do like the limited movement and stuff like that of street fighter and you go to another game you can't really play like that. like you're not going to do that well unless you adapt and then you learn different concepts like a lot of people think zoning is i throw a fireball and then if they jump i anti like like they think that's just it right but then you get to guilty gear character like kai you can't just sit there and like you know move backwards with kai trying to zone with him or even like axel you have to go in guilty gear specifically rewards forward movement right and punishes backward movement or no movement it's just in the mechanics of the game meter in guilty gear is tension it's not meter like you can't think of it the same way because tension is rewarding offensive movement it rewards landing hits it rewards active defense it rewards doing just defense instead of just blocking like if you move back your meter gains slower because of tension your tension is going down it's called tension pulse your tension pulse lowers the more you do defensive options so your meter gains slower and if you do more offensive options it gains really fast like if you're holding forward you can you can even notice it your meter will go up 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 and it'll start going really fast and like when you understand active defense because you can still zone in guilty Gear, right you understand active defense you can apply that to games like street fighter you can go back and apply that and it can make you overall a stronger player like you just seeing different concepts and that's always something i've been big on and that's like why i like playing so many games one of my favorite games to go back to on a pretty regular basis is Skullgirls. Like I don't play it like super long, like long term. I might just play like yeah. for like a couple weeks and just kind of stop. But every single time I do, it's like in those like interim spots after I've like played a couple games long term for a period of time, like in some cases in tournament and then just like stopped and then just played Skullgirls for a bit. And I notice that every single time I go back to playing Skullgirls, I like realize different things about the game. Yeah. And like my mentality changed. It's like when I first like picked up Skullgirls, it was like before I like really like was super into fighting games. So I did my thing. I mashed. I eventually learned that I kind of like Fukua and I was like, all right, that's cool. Whatever. Next. And then I would play Street Fighter for a couple of years. And then it's like, OK, I think I understand how like fighting game fundamentals work. So pretty cool. All right. Next. And then I would like spend a little bit more time competing and I, and I would come back and I'm like, OK, so this is how frame traps work. This is how you approach neutral. These different things just kind of like build up over time. And when you're playing a fighting game character, the thing that you are leveling up over the course of your experience isn't the character, it's you. And as yeah. you and as you go on with your experience as a, as a fighting game player, you you learn new new things and you learn how to apply them to different games. Yeah, some stuff is a lot of things like I don't even like really think about sometimes too. There are like games like anime games where you can delay your strings and you can make frame traps that way. And then some games can do that, like old Guilty Gear did not do that, but Blaze Blue does and Undernight does. And it's something I never really thought about because I was a Blaze Blue player for a long time. Like, that was a thing that I would do in that game, but I wouldn't really like think about it. And then 
Guilty Gear, you may do a frame trap here and there, but most of it is just like you kind of get a mix up off. Like your turns aren't that long unless you are willing to spend meter to extend it. Yeah. But then Undernight, that's a game where delaying your strings and making frame traps is like extremely important. I never realized Blaze Blue had that. Right. So when I played Undernight and I learned that was like a huge emphasis of the game, I learned, I like, I went back to blaze blue and i'm like whoa i could do this here too like it's really effective here so i can just add that to like my repertoire of like j things i just know from learning other games and the other thing uh playing different games exposes your habits more. yes oh my god yes i did not like ever know how to play neutral in fighting games for like a long time i would just kind of throw moves out sometimes mm -hmm. and like i i would like win i'm like <laughs> what the heck and then I play some other games like uh when i try to <laughs> I try to play street fighter 2 and like my neutral is just kind of hit buttons with claw from full screen away <laughs> like that that was it yeah that, how, that was it and then like uh then i play against like a ryu or something i get destroyed like just a solid ryu player or even just like a like a like a guile a chun -Li, like anything like that. any of those characters that can control space really well i would just get destroyed by them and i wouldn't get it i'm like why am i just losing so, right and once i like learn concepts of like how to better play neutral and that's when i'm like oh like oh so i don't i can't just hit buttons with claw like i have to hit them with intent i have to like you can stuff fireballs with like far medium kick with him in that game like, like yeah <laughs> stuff like that you can play around that like if you can um uh, if they try to use their fireball as like a poke oh i could just like slide under if i stay in this range i could always slide under it so he's not going to want to do that at that range but this is also a range where i could just poke him with like <laughs> like uh, uh far fierce like you can learn that from playing other games and then just go back and apply it later on i realized about like two years into me playing street fighter 5 as my main game and then switching to other games that my execution was actually just a uh, incredibly trash just because the input buffer in sf5 in general is just so forgiving that like you, you can really get away with like sloppy execution for like a lot of things in SF5. It's me realizing my whole thing with execution that eventually ended up motivating my transition over to a hitbox. Like I figured it out two years in, like later on that year, I like built a custom hitbox and I was like messing around with it. I'm like, okay, so I am definitely overdoing it on my input on stick. So noted. And then like, if you, if you like work on, well, play other games, work on your execution there and you go back to Street Fighter V, it's like you're a lot cleaner. Like, yep. You're, not, you're making less some stuff might overlap or whatever but like generally like you are inputting stuff cleaner stuff that would cost you in other situations like under pressure you have, with the cleaner execution you're not going to mess up there. Like, yep if you need to like reversal at this specific time and you're like trying to <laughs> try and mash out before but you just get a button right <laughs> well, damn i just lost yep and that's just something i learned as i was like doing stuff in in Sanford 2019 to a lesser extent doing stuff doing stuff in grand blue because simple inputs but just in general just like anytime i would jump into like a new fighting game out outside of five i would realize that this shortcoming and i'm like okay um let's try and like let's spend time in this new game for a bit clean things up and then go back yeah yeah it's always a good idea let me know what you guys think of this discussion in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure to like this video and also subscribe for more videos on fighting games and the fighting game community. I want to give a very special thanks to all of my subscribers. You guys make this all worth it. I want to give a special thanks to Genesis DC for working with me on this project. So if you want to check out some of the stuff that he's doing, you can check out his socials in the description below. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. I've been Shallon Pretzels, and as always, stay salty.